Welcome to the Daily Prophetic Word. The Daily Prophetic Word for Thursday, the 22nd of October 2020 is I am sad. I am still seeing my children, who call themselves Christians, claiming that my son Jesus never died on the cross. This denies the power of my kingdom and his ministry. I saw such teachings already when the first apostles went out to bring in the harvest, and now I see it again, rising under my own children. Stay away from such teachings and people who promote them. I am sad. My scriptures are true, and there are many witnesses to the events. If you deny them, you walk a dangerous path, and might even lose your salvation if you do not repent. This is a warning to all who believe that they are standing above my words and my judgments. Their fall will be sudden and deep. Stand by the truth of my words always. I am sad. As for you, my true and faithful servants, who will encounter such opinions and people on your path to Mount Zion, do not argue with them but remove the dust from your feet and enter the next city. The harvest is great and the workers are few. Do not get sidetracked by attempts of the enemy to throw confusion amongst my true sons and daughters, who are clinging to my words and who walk as an image of my son Jesus. I will deal with them at the appointed time. And this was a daily prophetic word given by the Holy Spirit for Thursday, the 22nd of October, 2020. Brothers and sisters, the Lord is talking about many voices are rising up right now who will bring forth again the Gnostic teachings of old, denying the power of the kingdom, denying our Lord and Savior, denying his ministry and denying what he has done for all of us. Stay away from them. Do not listen to such doctrines, because such doctrines are purely man-made and they have nothing to do with the kingdom of heaven. They are standing in opposition to the holy scriptures and all the witnesses and the first apostles and everybody who was there. And especially they deny all the suffering and sacrifice that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has done. Shame on them! But we will stick to the word of the Lord. And we will be his two sons and daughters, walking in his power and his glory under an open heaven. Because we abide in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and he in us, so that we can walk as his images here on earth. Brothers and sisters, be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.